Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I am going to show you how to create a knockout effect. In fact, it's a knockout text effect that, as you see here, as I pull around the uh, rectangle or this group here, the knockout effect follows me. So how did I do this? It's very easy to do, but there's a couple of steps, including one or two, that don't make a lot of sense. So let's go through this step by step. All right, so I'm going to delete all of this stuff here, and then we're just going to start with our background layer. The first step is you go to the left side here, grab your shape tool. In this case, I'm going to use a rectangle, but if you want to do a circle or anything else like that, go nuts. I'm going to draw this big, I don't know, we're going to go with this big shape here, big rectangle, and then instead of a black fill, I'm going to turn it into some sort of dark red wine red color. And I just did that by clicking on fill up here in the top left and then selecting a color. Okay. The next step is I'm going to go to the left side here, and now I'm going to grab my text tool. And you'll see here, I'm going to grab the horizontal type tool. I've got a very large font, so I'm going to make this a little smaller, at least to start. And then I'm just going to click, and I'm going to type something. I'm going to write in Paris. Beautiful. I'm going to select it, and then at the top here, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it so it's a little bigger, so it's easier for you and everybody to see. So I'm going to go up to something like... 250 point. Yeah, let's go to 250. There we go. There we go. Cool. All right. Good stuff. Now I'm going to move it. I'm just going to move it down here and then presto. Now let's go and get to the next step. Okay. So the next step is I'm going to double click on the text layer, but you'll see here, this is the thumbnail here. And then there's the Paris and then to the right of it, I'm going to double click on the right side of it. And when I do that, we get a few options under advanced blending. This is where we can go ahead and start working on knockout. You'll see here under channels, it says knockout none. I'm going to switch that from none to shallow. Also, I'm going to go ahead and change the fill opacity from 100% to 0%. And you'll see here that it's knocked it out, but it's knocked it out to transparent. So this could be an effect that you're going for, but in most cases not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on OK. And now the final step, and this one is a little counterintuitive in my opinion, but what you need to do is you got to grab the top layer, grab the second layer, and we're just going to go ahead and group them. So I'm just going to grab the two layers. I'm going to right click outside of it. Here we go. Group from layers. Presto. And when we do that, it's going to say new group from layers, group one, pass through all that's correct. Click OK. And look at that. It is now knocked out. And there we go. We've got our group. And if I hold down shift key and I just start moving it, you'll see here that it is perfectly knocked out. That's the whole effect in one quick video. Thanks for watching.